Shane, round up for the week ending. Ah! Number 10! How much do teachers shape kids' climate change beliefs? Only 12% of students had a teacher who thought climate change was real and believed humans were largely to blame. North Carolina State University biologist states, Our findings suggest convincing teachers that climate change is real, but not necessarily human-caused, may have profound impacts on students. Number 9! Massive lake discovered under a volcano could unlock why and how volcanoes erupt. A huge magmatic lake has been discovered, 15 kilometers below a dormant volcano in Bolivia, South America. The body of water, which is dissolved into partially molten rock at a temperature of almost 1,000 degrees Celsius, is the equivalent to what is found in some of the world's giant freshwater lakes, such as Lake Superior. Number 8 Climate finance to top India's agenda. India will also focus on sustainable lifestyle issues, which found a place in the Paris Agreement after Prime Minister Modi pushed for its inclusion. Number 7 Climate champions launch global action agenda in Morocco. As a successor to the Lima Paris Action Agenda in 2013, the Global Action Agenda allows non-governmental players such as civil society organizations, private companies, cities, regions and investors and their initiatives to play a bigger role. Number 6 A new study concludes warm climate is more sensitive to changes in CO2. Tobias Frederick from the International Pacific Research Center at the University of Hawaii states, the only way out is to reduce greenhouse gas emissions as soon as possible. Number five. NASA double shot. Media briefed on new NASA hurricane mission. Earth Expeditions, a natural cloud climate laboratory. Number four. Physics doesn't really care who was elected. Climate change does not care about the law of the land in the U.S. It cares about the laws of physics. Trump can change laws in the U.S. He can't change them in the atmosphere. Number three. COP22, the implications of the U.S. presidential result. Focus shifts to China to take on the role as global leader in taking action on climate change. Number two. Trump win opens way for China to take climate leadership role. Zhu Ji, deputy director of the National Center for Climate Change Strategy said that if Trump abandons efforts to implement the Paris Agreement, China's influence and voice are likely to increase in global climate governance, which will then spill over into other areas of global governance and increase China's global standing, power and leadership. Your number one climate change news item is... All is not lost on climate change. Trump will be terrible, but it's not just about Trump. It's about you too. There's a lot each of us can do in our own lives. Yes, we'll need a systematic change to preserve a habitable planet for future generations. But that change begins with small steps in our own daily lives. And Trump can't keep you from starting that today. Links to all these news items and more 
are available below. Spencer and I thank you for tuning in and we invite you to subscribe, like and comment on this or any of our other videos. Please tune in next time for another of Spencer's Climate Change Roundup!